Welcome to my channel. I hope you like and subscribe and thank you so much for watching. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to crochet this little hat with bunny ears. It's simply adorable and super easy to make, perfect for Easter, so I hope you like it. Now, this little hat is for zero to three months and you can make it for baby boys and girls and you can even make it for any size, any age following standard size measurements that I'm going to provide you with here in this tutorial. You can even use any yarn weight with any hook size, so I hope you you like it and as always if you prefer written pattern check out my Etsy shop I'll leave the link to my Etsy shop in the information box below thank you so much for your support now let's get started but don't forget to subscribe activate the notifications bell to all notifications so that YouTube can recommend my videos and if you like this tutorial please hit that like button thanks so much for watching to make this bunny hat, I'll be using this 3mm crochet hook and today I'm using this DK weight yarn. Now the first thing that we're going to do are the bunny ears. We're going to make them exactly like this one here. For this one, I chained 25. This one here is a bit longer. I chained 31. So you can make them as long as you want, as short as you want, and you can even use any yarn weight with any hook size. The way that you make them is exactly the same way. So here to begin, I have 25 chains. Now into the second chain from the hook, one, two, into the second chain here, make one half double crochet. Make sure that you only go through one of the loops here of the chain. So that's one, into the next make a half double crochet and into the next a half double crochet as well continue making half double crochets into each one of the chains until you come to the last one so here you're going to have 23 half double crochets so i will meet you right here to show you what we need to do next I finished making these half double crochets along this side. I have 23 half double crochets. Now into this last chain here, make six half double crochets. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six. Now we're going to continue along the other side of the chain here and into this first chain stitch right there, make a half double crochet. Now here we're going to continue until we have 23 half double crochets, which is the same number of half double crochets as we had here on the first side. So continue, I'll meet you at the end of this first row. I finished making these 23 half double crochets for this side. So at the end of this first row, I have a total of 52 half double crochets. I have 23 for this side, 23 for this side, and here in the center, I have six. So that's a total of 52 half double crochets for this first row. Now, if you have a longer chain here, the important thing is that you do the same thing here, the six half double crochets into the last chain. That way you can turn easily. The rest is the same now for the second row I'm going to chain two and turn now the two chains do not count here I'm going to work a total of 24 double crochets so beginning on top of the first half double crochet make a double crochet and into each one of the half double crochets make one double crochet until you have a total of 24 I will meet you right around here to show you how we're going to work the center part I finished making these 24 double crochets along this side for the second row now into the next four half double crochets this is what we're going to do into the first half double crochet make two double crochets now into the second and the third make three double crochets that's one two three into the second and three into the third Now into the fourth, make two double crochets. So here for the center part, you should have 10 double crochets. Now here we have 24 half double crochets left. So we're going to make one double crochet on each one of these half double crochets. So continue, finish this second row. I will meet you here at the end. 
I finished making this second row. At the end of this second row, I have 58 double crochets. I have 24 here on this side, 24 on this side, and here for the center, I have 10 double crochets. So that's a total of 58 double crochets. Now, what we're going to do next is we're going to make a second piece exactly in the same way. Make sure that whatever piece you're making with the main color, don't cut your yarn. For me, the white color is going to be the main color. So I'm going to make the next one with the secondary color which I already have ready so I'm using this pink so for the pink I did cut my yarn here at the end of the second row so what we're going to do next is we're going to join and we're going to put these together with the wrong side facing each other so this here's the wrong side here's the wrong side so make sure that you put them like this and we're going to go all around making half double crochets to join so here we're going to go right here on this side we're going to go on top of the first double crochet of the second row for the pink and we're going to grab this loop here i have not cut my yarn so don't cut your yarn because this is going to be easier here you can if you want to you can just attach the yarn here that would be up to you so i'm going to chain one here and now i'm going to go back into the same stitch yarn over first just go back into the first stitch here on this side and go into the first stitch on this side or actually it's the last stitch here on this side because it's the opposite so now grab a loop and here we're going to make a half double crochet now go through the next stitch on this side and through the second stitch on the other side and make a half double crochet so So this is how you're going to join both pieces. Just make one half double crochet for each stitch all around like this. So continue. Once we're done, we're going to have the same number of stitches, which is 58. I will meet you here at this other end to show you what we need to do next. I finished making this third row where I joined both pieces. At the end of this row, I have a total of 58 half double crochets. Now you're going to repeat the same thing for the second ear. And what we're going to do next here is we're going to fold the ear like this in half, and then we're going to seam the top. This is going to be the inside of the little ears, and this is going to be the outside. So go on top of the first half double crochet that we did here at the beginning of this row and pull this loop through and chain one now i'm going to make a couple of stitches here so that we join so to do this here just go through this side make sure you go through the pink and the white and also on this side here grab a loop and make a single crochet and then just repeat the same thing there is no right or wrong way of doing this the important thing is that we join here and we have some visible stitches here so that when we attach it to the little hat we are able to see these stitches it's going to make it a lot easier if you do it like this Okay, so this is done. I did a total of five single crochets. Now you're going to repeat the same thing for the second ear. And here you can cut your yarn. Make sure that you leave a long tail. Now I'm going to show you how to make the hat next. And then I'm going to come back and show you how to attach the ears to the little hat. So here to begin, I'll be using the same hook, the three millimeter size, and I'm using this DK weight yarn. Now you can make your hat for any size, any age, and use any yarn weight with any hook size. We're going to be making this hat based on standard size measurements, and the measurements that we're going to need is the width of the crown and the total length. We don't need the head circumference because that is for another type of hat. We're going to make our hat from the crown down, so we're going to need the width of the crown and the total length. So if you want to take a screenshot of this these are the two measurements that we're going to need so the first thing that we need to do is we need to make a magic circle so to do this just wrap the yarn around both fingers like this hold it there and insert your hook through this circle and grab a loop now here you're going to chain two one 
two. These two chains will never count. Now inside this circle, we're going to make a total of 12 double crochets. Like this, one, two, three, four, and so on. Continue until you have 12 double crochets. I'll come back and show you what we need to do next. I finished making this first row. I have a total of 12 double crochets. Now to close this circle, all you do is just pull this here and that circle is going to close. Now to finish the row, just go on top of the first double crochet and join with a slip stitch. Now for the second row, chain two, remember the two chains never count. These two chains are actually there so that there's no gap between the last and the first double crochet. Now for the second row, we're going to make two double crochets on each one of the double crochets like this. So continue all around just making two double crochets. At the end of this second row, I'm going to have a total of 24 double crochets. I'm here at the end of the second row. I have a total of 24 double crochets. To finish, go on top of the first double crochet and join with a slip stitch. Now for the third row, chain two. Now in this row, we're going to make two, then one, two, one, two, one, all around. Let me show you. Beginning on top of the first double crochet, which is the same one we joined, make two double crochets. Now into the next, make one. Into the next, make two and into the next, make one double. And that's how you're going to continue. Two, one, two, one, all around. At the end of this third row, we're going to have 36 double crochets. I'll meet you at the end. I'm here at the end of the third row. At the end of this row, I have 36 double crochets. To finish, go on top of the first double crochet and join with a slip stitch. Now for the fourth row, chain two. In this row, we're going to make two, one, one, two, one, one, all around. Let me show you. Beginning into this first double crochet, make two double crochets. Now into the next two double crochets, make one. Into the next, make two. And into the next two, make one. And this is how we're going to continue all around. You're going to make two, one, one, two, one, one, all around. At the end of this fourth row, we're going to have 48 double crochets. I'll meet you at the end of this fourth row. I'm here at the end of the fourth row. At the end of this row, I have 48 double crochets. To finish this fourth row, just go on top of the first double crochet and join with a slip stitch. Now, this here as it is, it's measuring about eight and a half centimeters which is about, it's almost three and a half inches. If you were making this for a preemie size, you would have the measurement for the width of the crown, and then all you need to do is just continue with the rest of the hat. For me, I need to make at least one more row. So for the fifth row here, I'm going to chain two. In this row, I'm going to make two, then into the next three double crochets, I'm going to make one. Let me show you. Beginning into the first double crochet, make two double crochets. Now into the next three, make one double crochet. Into the next, make two. And into the next three, make one. There, this is how you're going to continue for the rest of this fifth row. You're going to make two, then one, 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 two, one, one, one all around. At the end of this fifth row, you're going to have 60 double crochets. Okay, I finished the fifth row. At the end of this row, I have a total of 60 double crochets. So this part here is done. I have the measurement that I need. As it is right across, it's measuring about 11 centimeters, which is about 4.25 inches, which is within the measurement that I need the crown width to be. So it needs to be between four and four and a half inches or 10 to 11.5 centimeters. Right now, like I said, mine is about 11 centimeters, which is perfect. So now we're going to start with the pattern here. And I'm going to keep this nice and simple. So we're going to do a very easy stitch pattern, which is multiples of two, which is perfect because here I have 60 stitches. Now we're going to continue with the total length. So we're going to continue with the pattern until it measures between five and five and a half inches 
stitches. Now, if you're making your head in any other size, you're just going to continue and make your circle bigger and just follow the same sequence. For example, for the sixth row, you're going to make two, four, two, four. And then for the seventh row, you're going to make two, five, two, five all around. And just continue and increase the size of the circle until you have the measurement for the size that you're making. To begin the pattern here, this is what we're going to do. I'm going to chain one. Now before we continue, this little hat is going to be all in one color, but if you want to change color here, this is where you would do it. At the end of the fifth row, the crown, you would just join to the beginning, cut your yarn and pass your yarn through that last loop, and then join the new color. So here to continue, we're just going to chain one, and now remember this chain one here, because this is where you're going to join at the end of each row. Now yarn over and into this same stitch, which is the first double crochet, make a half double crochet. Now into the next double crochet, make a slip stitch. Yarn over again and into the next double crochet, make a half double crochet. And into the next double crochet, make a slip stitch. Make sure that when you make these half double crochets and slip stitches, they're nice and loose so that you are able to see the stitch here. For example, here's the slip stitch and here's the half double crochet because that is where we're going to insert the hook in the next row. So again, you're going to make a half double crochet into the next and a slip stitch into the next. And that's how you're going to continue all around. I will meet you here at the end of this first row. I'm here at the end of this first row. At the end of this row, I have 60 stitches. Now to finish here, we're going to go into the chain and join with a slip stitch like that. Now we're going to chain one and again that's the chain we're going to join at the end of the row. Turn and here we're going to start with a half double crochet into the slip stitch that we did before we joined and then into the half double crochet make a slip stitch. Half double crochet into the slip stitch and a slip stitch into the half double crochet. Half double crochet into the slip stitch, slip stitch into the half double crochet. And that's all we're going to do for the second row. The important thing here to remember is that you're going to make a half double crochet into the slip stitch of the previous row and a slip stitch into the half double crochet of the previous row. Now continue all around. I will meet you here at the end to show you what we need to do next. I'm here at the end of this second row. Now here at the end I have my last half double crochet into this space here, make a slip stitch. Now to finish the row, we're going to go right here, right to the side of this chain and join with a slip stitch. Now for the third row, chain one and turn. From here on, we're going to repeat exactly the same thing we did in the second row. We're going to begin with a half double crochet into the slip stitch that we did before we joined, and then a slip stitch into the half double crochet. Again, a half double crochet into the slip stitch, and a slip stitch into the half double crochet. And that's all we're going to do all around and just repeat over and over that same row. Now, at the end of each row, you're always going to have 60 stitches. Now I'm going to continue until I have this measurement. For zero to three months, it needs to be between five and five and a half inches. But what I'm going to do here is because I want uh, to add a little brim here, I'm going to stop when I have about an inch left to do the front post and back post half double crochets. You can also continue and make more rows if you want a wider brim like this. You just continue and maybe do about an inch more. This is the same stitch pattern, by the way. Um, this little hat is a bit longer so that it folds like this. So that would be up to you. I'm going to make it like this here where I'm going to leave about an inch from this total length to do that. So continue. I'm not sure how many rows I'm going to do here, but continue watching. I will let you know exactly how many rows I'm going to do. So I will meet you at the end of that row. 
Okay, I'm almost done with the little hat. I have done a total of 16 rows. So from here up to here, there's 16 rows and it's measuring from here up to here. It's measuring about 12 centimeters, which is about 4.75 inches. So I still have about less than an inch left from the total length here, as I mentioned, and I'm going to do the brim now. So the brim is going to be like this. So to begin here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to chain one here i already did and turn now for row 17 beginning into this first half double crochet i'm going to make a half double crochet half double crochet into the next stitch half double crochet into the next and so on for this row this is all i'm going to do i'm going to make a half double crochet into each one of these stitches including the slip stitches so that at the end of this 17th row i have a total of 60 stitches continue all around i'll meet you at the end of this row I'm here at the end of the 17th row, which is the first row here for the brim. I have a total of 60 stitches. Now to finish, go on top of the first half double crochet and join with a slip stitch. Now for row 18, you're going to chain one and then beginning into this first half double crochet, you're going to make a front post half double crochet. Now into the next, a back post half double crochet, into the next, front post half double crochet back post half double crochet into the next and so on for this 18th row this is how you're going to continue you're just going to alternate between front post and back post half double crochets at the end you're going to have 60 stitches continue like this to the end of this 18th row i will meet you there to show you what we need to do next I finished making the 18th row. That's where we did front post and back post half double crochets. Now here at the end, I just joined to the beginning with a slip stitch, cut my yarn and pass my yarn through that last loop. And the little hat is all done. And this is how it looks. Now I have the measurement that I need for the size that I'm making. So what we're going to do now is we're going to attach the ears. So this here is the back side. So we're going to turn this over like this. Now I'm going to attach the ears here into the second row. So I'm going to put a stitch marker here, which is the center. So just fold the hat, making sure that this is the back side, and right around here, place a stitch marker. So I'm going to put my first ear right here so to do this make sure that when you do this part leave a nice tail here so that you can sew the ears to the hat so facing me this is the front we're going to go here to the left side now to attach the ears there is no right or wrong way of doing this this is how i'm going to do it what i'm going to do is i'm going to align these five single crochets that i have here for this ear to the stitch marker and then i'm going to count over one two and then that's where i'm going to begin with the first stitch making sure to go through each one of the single crochets and through each one of the double crochets so that at the end these five stitches is what's going to attach the ears to the hat We have gone through all five stitches, or at least I have, and that's how it looks. So now all I have to do here is just tie a knot. So let's see how it looks. To me, I think that looks pretty good. So now I'm going to repeat the same thing here for the second ear. So I'm going to go ahead and do that, and then I'll come back and show you the finished hat. Okay, I finished attaching the second ear here to the little hat. This is how it looks. Now, what you can do is you can also attach a little bow here right in the center, or you can even add a little pompon. In my channel, I already have a tutorial on how I make my pompons, so I'll go ahead and leave the link down here in the information box. Now, for this little bow, all you need to do is just make a rectangle here. Uh, for me, I did a total of 21 chains, and into the second chain from the hook, I started with a half double crochet slip stitch, half double crochet slip stitch, all the way to the end of the chain. 
Then for the second row, I did chain one turn and then started the same thing. Half double crochet slip stitch, half double crochet slip stitch all the way to the end of the second row. And then I just repeated that second row until I had about 14 rows. Once I was done with that part, all I did was just go around making single crochets in the same color. And then after I finished that row where I did single crochets all around, I did a row in white where I did a chain one slip stitch, chain one slip stitch all around. That creates this nice little finish here all around. So that's how I did this bow. And all you do is just attach this here to the center and look how cute that would look simply adorable so that would be an option or you can just leave it like that so this little hat is done for zero to three months remember that you can make it smaller or bigger from a newborn size and up to an adult size following the same pattern here so this was today's tutorial i hope you like it thank you so much for watching and don't forget if you prefer in pattern check out my etsy shop i'll leave the link to my etsy shop in the information box below thanks for watching